Is 5G safe? Well, we're taking to the heart of Telstra's R&D base, who have actually been testing 5G for the last six months. Then where are all the brain cancers? Wireless radiation has biological effects. What's going to happen is we're going to see cyber very quickly now turn very black. The issue with 5G is that it will be impossible to walk outside without exposing yourself to this radiation. Because Smartphones should never be within about an inch of the body. Well, hundreds of pregnant women, 2.72 times more likely to have miscarriages. So this is uh, two blocks away from the 5G cell tower. And as you can see, there is literally no birds. Oh, there's little ones. Little ones are running away, they're getting out of there. All right, my friends, we're here outside Telstra's R&D base. And right here up there is Australia's first 5G cell tower. And this is a cell tower, and it's news for you. They built it right in the middle of Chinatown, so there's a large, dense population here. So as you can see, that big cell tower is right in the heart of Chinatown. And interestingly enough, so I'm around 50 meters away right here. I'm using this radiation meter app and it says 53, which is actually pretty low. It's nothing to be worried about. And also, surprisingly, you might have seen all those myths about the birds dying and all that stuff. There's actually a couple of birds up there having a whale of time. There's a few of them. They're playing with the black ones. They're on WhatsApp. They're on Google, they're doing that live brain surgery stuff that you've heard about for 5G, or up there on the cell tower. Low latency is crucial for things like surgery because the response time has to be immediate, it has to be real. Take this 5G robot on display at the 2019 MWC trade show in Barcelona. It can serve you a coffee. Medical professionals will be able to do the same with patient records and information. 5G powered drones delivering food and online shopping to your door. Live 3D holograms that are visible to people wearing the next generation of smart glasses. Wow, those use cases, they sound great. But you know, think about it. They are a bit dumb. If I'm a patient going into a clinic and the medicinal person, the doctor, wants to see my medical data, my God, doesn't the clinic have Wi-Fi? Wi-Fi's fast as hell. You don't use your phone data for that. Secondly, if I'm in a hospital and I need some surgery being done by a robot remotely, is the hospital not gonna have Wi-Fi? Thirdly, what the hell? Has your phone line ever got cut off when you're walking around the street? They're expecting this 5G network to be super solid like a wired cable through the ground with redundancy? I don't think so. And thirdly, they're talking about drones flying in the air. now. I gotta tell you something, if you need 5G for your drone to operate and not fall out of the sky, there's gonna be some serious issues because phone networks are not reliable. <laughs> Man, try New Year's. Text messaging someone, it doesn't work. You need to wait like three hours for it to finally send. And when you get more than two people, you're done with. And more importantly, fast 5G only works in short range. And by short range, I mean it needs 10 times more antennas than 4G because the signal operates at higher frequency and higher frequency can't go as far. So, drones flying here, there and everywhere, they aren't really gonna be in those 5G areas, are they? So 4G worked between 800 megahertz all the way up to 3000, that's three gigahertz. 5G picks up from three gigahertz and goes all the way up to 100 gigahertz. So it really depends on the kind of 5G you're getting is gonna depend on the performance and the dangers of it. For example, did you know that the Soviets used to experiment with the 70 gigahertz range to actually genetically modify skin cells? All right, so 5G being used today currently operates at that three gigahertz spectrum, but the problem is that 5G can go up to 100 gigahertz. When you start going above 29 gigahertz, you get into this extremely high frequency range. That frequency is the same as those hated TSA scanners. The thing is, TSA scanners, when you're on an international flight, if you're unlucky, you'll get scanned. What, you do that once a year at most? This frequency is gonna be bombarding you left, right, and center all the time. There's no escaping it. Furthermore, you look at the medicinal improvements to it. Scientists and doctors and researchers have been using it in medicine, the 70 gigahertz range, to change cell growth. This was exploited by the Eastern Europeans to, who tried making those super soldiers back in the day. Now scientists and doctors, the sponsored ones, they're gonna be saying things like, yeah, Ash, 
but if cell phone data was bad, why isn't there more brain tumors? Why isn't there more brain cancer? If it's true, then where are all the brain cancers? And you're right, brain cancer over the years have you know stayed about the same, slightly gone down, but I'm gonna stand up for this. I don't know about you, but I don't use my phone in my ear all the time, is it? I use my phone usually in my pocket. And did you know, fertility rate in men has gone down, guess what? I'm looking at a Kaiser Permanente study from December 2017 that was published in Scientific Reports that shows in San Francisco hundreds of pregnant women that were near what's known as magnetic field non-ionizing radiation that's associated with cell phones were at 2.72 times more likely to have miscarriages. And I cannot produce anything. <sighs> also, did you know that Apple recommend you use your phone hands-free, says right there on their page, hands-free, use it. Samsung, they do their body tests 1.5 centimeters away from the body. So, you know, look at me here. Uh, I, I, I don't know if this is 1.5, it's pretty much on contact. Basically, if you've got any mates who are acting a bit dodgy, just tell them good advice. Don't wear those skinny jeans. <laughs> I need to, I'm probably going mental from this phone. The birds might be here. But maybe not for long. Now what's really scary about 5G is its mission statement. 4G supports 4,000 devices in a one square kilometer range. 5G wants to support 1 million. And their cells, their smallest to the largest, they support between 8 to 200 devices at a time. So that means at best case, you're looking at 5,000 of these cells littered around a one kilometer Square, kilometer, I can't even finish that sentence. 5,000 of these cell towers broadcasting these signals. The closer you live to a cell tower, the higher your blood glucose. That is based on hemoglobin A1C measurements. So the idea with small cells of putting the cells closer to people's homes and bedrooms, scientifically, is very dangerous. Now, the, the real use case for 5G, think about it. It's not for consumers. It's mainly for spying. Come on, you wanna be uploading the camera data as fast as possible to the servers so they can monitor you. I'm not even joking. Look at Tesla. Tesla, for example, great company, I love them. You can opt out, but by default, they're sharing analytics from your car. So the process that we, that we go through internally in the team is that we take this image or a few images that show this pattern and we have a mechanism, a machine learning mechanism by which we can ask the fleet to source us examples that look like that. It sounds like uh, the cars are doing some co computation to determine what kind of information to send back to you. Is that, is that a correct assumption? And are, are they doing that in real time or are they doing based on stored information? <clears throat> yep, so they absolutely uh, do do computation in, in real time on the car. And uh, we have a way to basically specify condition that we're interested in. Um, and then those cars do that computation there. If they did not, then we'd have to send all the data and do that offline in our backend. We don't want to do that. So all that computation have us on the car. So everything your car sees, your dash cam, can be uploaded in an instant to Tesla's service for computation. And Tesla's a good guy. Imagine what the bad guys are doing. What's going to happen is we're gonna see cyber very quickly now turn very black. So we have the ability, as you know, uh, to basically shut someone's pacemaker off but we have to be within 35 feet of them. We test these devices at Quantico all the time. So as long as I walk up within 35 feet of you, I take control of any bodily device you have on you. So if I want to assassinate you, I want to speed it up, take it down, I can do that. But I believe that in five years, you'll be able to do that from 5,000 miles away. We have the ability now that we test that we can chase a car down the interstate. We got to get up within 35 feet of the vehicle. We take over the vehicle. We shut the motor off, we lock the person in the car, we lock the power window so they can't open them, or we can turn on their airbag. Again, five years from now, you'd be able to do that 5,000 miles away. So yes, our electrical grid, used as a terrorist tool, the ability to shut down an entire system, shut down an entire banking system, uh, those are all the things that unfortunately we'll be dealing with in the next four or five uh, years as cyber starts to make that turn to the very black side of uh, cyber, not just about stealing money, information, and data. 
The one saving grace I have to say at the moment is that the initial release of 5G, they're operating at the three gigahertz spectrum. So three gigahertz is only slightly, ever so much, this much faster than 4G. Not that much of a difference. But coming soon, 29 gigahertz, 25 gigahertz, this spectrum can go up to 100 gigahertz. In Australia, it's 26 is the biggest they've talked about, but in other countries, it's gonna get bad. So while you might be safe today, I think, <clears throat> it looks like you're gonna be needing one of these. All right, check the description below for purchase links for one of these spacesuits, and I'm gonna be uh, protecting myself and my sperm. Then where are all brain cancers? Wireless radiation has biological effects. What's going to happen is we're going to see cyber very quickly now turn very black. The issue with 5G is that it will be impossible to walk outside without exposing yourself to this radiation. The smartphone should never be within about an inch of the body. Hundreds of pregnant women, 2.72 times more likely to have miscarriages. Excuse me, Koala. How do you feel about this whole 5G nonsense? Uh, I'm actually quite scared. Please, help me. See, everyone here supports it. 5G's amazing. 